I do, but I don't. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Natasha and nice to meet you. So today I'm going to be doing a full face um, using pretty much new products. I've been picking up a lot of makeup, a lot of stuff. I've been hoarding stuff, picking up stuff here and there and there. So it's time to put everything to the test. Also, I kind of want to show you guys an updated like face routine. I've been switching up my techniques a little bit. Just, you know, like as far as prepping and like certain little things here and there that have clearly been making a difference because I think the face is giving. So if you think the face is giving, go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and keep watching. All right, guys, so um, I literally just filmed a hair video and I'm gonna put that on my other channel, of course, and I switched my lens. So I know the quality of this is probably better, um, but I don't know how the lighting is. It looks good so far in my viewfinder, but y'all know it's a work in progress. I'm trying to get it together over here, okay? But um, yeah, hopefully it looks good, so we'll see. Today I'm doing a makeup video and I'm super excited because I feel like I have not done like a dedicated makeup video a full-on makeup video so i'm going to be doing a video today on my favorite my current favorite products and like my current face routine just like two on one um, i've been buying a lot of stuff so this video is literally probably going to be like a two-part thing because i have so much makeup you guys it's actually disgusting so um make sure you guys check the description box i will be listing and linking everything down below and let's get into it okay so for starters <laughs> I'm like debating if I want to keep this little flip over, but we're going to keep my hair like this until the end. That's when you really know how you want your hair to be. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips because they are looking so struggly, honey. So this is not a new product for me, but if you don't have this, Laneige um, Glowy Lip Balm, you guys need it. And I always get the berry one. I just, you know how like you're just used to the smell of something? I know they have like peach and pear and something else they always come out with different flavors but i always 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 get berry because it's just like i'm used to that smell on my lips so it's just like a habit so make sure you guys get this if you don't so um before i get into my foundation and blush and eyes and brows you guys know i'm a skin fanatic i don't have the best skin but because i don't have the best skin my main goal when doing my makeup is to make sure that my skin is literally as flawless or flawless looking as possible so skin prep is very very important to me and i've been like super into skincare and just like primers and stuff like that so ooh, so you guys i picked this up the other day this is the pharmacy halo honey halo ultra hydrating moisturizer let me tell you guys i um use the mask which is great it's like super hydrating it has a little tingly feeling it's great but this i was like i don't know why i picked this up i literally just like i always feel like i need to pick up stuff i don't know it's really unnecessary but this you guys is like amazing and you guys know I love my Laura Mercier primer but like this one is like on a whole nother level I use this one before putting on my makeup I use this one um, before I go to bed like I freaking love this moisturizer if you have not tried this or you've seen it and you're like should I try it the answer is yes yes and yes okay this is a amazing moisturizer you guys it's super hydrating and for those of you guys who may be curious i do have normal skin so i'm honestly able to use a lot of different products i don't have to just use like mattifying or glowy i can like switch back and forth a lot of people don't like to apply moisturizer and stuff before they do their makeup because they think it's making it last longer but sis that's not the case okay so put on that moisturizer and look at it like oh my gosh it looks so good <laughs> all right so now we're gonna move on to the face you guys i have been adding a new step to my face routine and it's making a huge difference so i've been color correcting again if you guys watched my previous video y'all my face used to be orange but also i do have a lot of hyperpigmentation so it did help but like my face was orange and i just don't i just didn't like that so when i was watching Aaliyah's video I saw her use this and I was like, wow, that looks really good. And it like did correct her, but it wasn't like obnoxiously yellow or peachy. Like it looked really good. So I went ahead and picked it up and I have been obsessed with this ever since. I'm telling you guys, this is a game changer. It's literally 
a color corrector like and when I say that I mean it's not just orange pigment going on your face when it blends out it has this nice like pretty sheen to it like it's just super super nice and it's like sheared it you guys are gonna see when I blend it out it's literally correcting all my problem areas so I apply it on my upper lip because my upper lip is just dark child whether I wax nair thread whatever it's just dark I do my under eyes just because I don't know my my under eyes aren't really dark but I just do it anyway because why not and then I apply it to any like dark spots that I have all right and I love the applicator it's super small and it's like a little mini brush can you guys see that so it's not like um you're not applying too much because you don't ever want to apply too much color corrector which this was probably too much but it's gonna blend out so nicely okay so I just take a little brush I prefer to use a brush with my color corrector versus a beauty blender because I feel like the beauty blender is just gonna absorb this product because it's such a sheer um, product I just prefer to blend it out with a brush so it takes a little bit longer but y'all everything can't always be easy and I'm giving y'all hella hacks and and ways to cut corners but sometimes you got to put in a little bit extra work so this is the morphe m173 and i literally just kind of like buff it out so i'm not dragging and i'm not like just patting i'm kind of like patting and flicking so that it's like blending it out but diffusing it at the same time if that makes any kind of sense and this has been a lifesaver because my skin has been acting crazy like y'all it's been so bad maybe it's stress i don't know maybe it's my diet but it has been acting up and I do not like full coverage foundation. So this eliminates all the darkness and extraness without me having to cake on my face. Like I like to be beat, but like, I don't know. I still like that. Like y'all know if you watch my videos and you're used to me, or you've seen me before, or you see my face or something, you know what kind of look I'm going for. Like I like it to be beat, but like, I don't like that like thick, cakey, heavy look. Like I do, but I don't. I don't know, but you get the vibes, right? Okay, so do you guys see how it like literally brightened my face? But it's not like hella orange. Like I don't know what's picking up on camera, but in person, it's definitely orange there, but it's not like orange. Like you remember when color correcting first, like, you know, made a comeback into the makeup world and on Instagram, everybody was like using red lipstick, orange lipstick and drawing lines on their face and doing a lot. Yeah, this is not what that is. This is definitely skin. And if you guys can see up close, it has this like sheen to it. Like it just, it just looks so good. Okay, period. And by the way, this is in the shade um, medium deep. All right. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot to prime. I forgot to prime, I forgot to prime. Bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna prime around certain areas because I don't know how I forgot that. But I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer and you guys, it is so good. I love this primer. So I typically would prime before, you know, we've all forgotten to prime before and honestly, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just gonna like add that and rub it in very gently but the urban decay primer is really nice i feel like it does add some moisture to my skin you guys know i like a like plumping or like hydrating primer um and this one is just doing just that it's bomb so use that typically i will put that right up after my moisturizer but you guys i literally forgot i got so excited about this damn color corrector so I, ugh, I'm stressed you guys, I'm really stressed. I was literally debating on if I was just gonna use my NARS today or because I've been loving the NARS again. But you guys have seen that plenty of times. So I'm gonna switch it up since I've been slacking on the makeup videos. We don't wanna see the same stuff. We wanna switch it up, okay? So um, I'm gonna use my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And I've actually really, really been liking this. I got the shade 6N and I'm not sure what the coverage of this is. Um, uh, so it's, I guess you can get full coverage out of this. So you can do light coverage, medium coverage, or full coverage, depending on how many layers you do. And I definitely will agree with that. So with this one, I literally just apply it on my face like this. And you guys know I have the other, um, Dior foundation and it like wasn't the worst but it was not my favorite 
But this one definitely is giving. So I'm just going to blend that out with my Morphe brush. You guys know I love this brush. This is the E63. Best foundation brush ever. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Um, I'm actually like in between 6N and 6W, but because I because it's summertime, I just prefer to grab the darker color or the more toned down in the wintertime, I can definitely probably wear um, 6W, but they both match, it just depends. I feel like 6W, um, because it's warmer, would look really good in the center of my face, and then this around the perimeter. And I just like to bring the extra down to my neck and like slightly blend it out. I don't like to like add product to my neck, but, and I'm not really sure if that was like considered a lot of foundation or not, I don't know, um, I just look. I just applied it, okay? So, for concealer, I'm gonna mix two because that's what I do. I'm gonna be using my Kevin Aquan per usual. I just really, really, really like what this does to my skin. So I'm using the shade SX12, which is crazy because I always used to think that SX12 was too, like, yellowy. But I really like how it photographs. I really like how it brings my face together. I just really, really like it, so. All right, and you guys know a little bit of this goes a long way. Um, sometimes I go a little bit too ham with it, but I'm just letting you know. So now I'm gonna go on with the um, Dior found, um, concealer, and this is just called Dior Forever Skin Correct. And I got the shade I should get it together. I got the shade 45N, so it's a little bit more neutral. I feel like this one was gonna work. So this concealer is literally like the same shade as my Born This Way concealer in the shade Butterscotch. So next, I'm gonna be using this um, Makeup Mario Cream Bronzer, or is it? Um, it's a soft sculpt shaping stick, okay? So con contour. So this is in the shade Dark Deep, and I have been loving this, you guys. You guys know I started cream contouring and I was using the Fenty, which I still really do like, or really love it, actually. But this one's just a lot smoother. The Fenty one, I feel like, is like a cream to powder kind of finish. This one just gives you that super skin-like finish, but it still sculpts you out real nice. So, wow. This, so while my concealer is sitting and kind of setting and getting a little thicker and more full coverage, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. And you guys, it blends like a dream. Mario did that, okay? I really want to try his powder bronzers, but for some weird reason in Sephora, they're just not, the deep dark is not available at all. Like, it's like there, but it's like not available. That's, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and the dark is just not dark enough, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait till that's released in the store, I guess. And these have literally been like my go-to products in the last few weeks, as well as like my face routine. You see I'm doing my face before my brows. That's really been my zhuzh, honey. Like, it just does something to me. It just does something. I really could do without doing my brows at all. I'm kind of over the whole brow thing. I kind of like this i feel like my brows look nice i feel like they're coming into themselves and they're understanding life and the world and it just looks so good <laughs> so now that that's been sitting for a while i'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer and it's definitely like hella full coverage now and a little tacky but i love that because i hate when like i blend my concealer out and it just goes away i don't like that you want to see the concealer, but in a good way. Do you guys see that? It looks so freaking good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and before I forget, so I also have picked up this blush. I've been really into blush, you guys. It's actually disgusting. Um, and I picked up this blush in the shade Dusty Rose. And when I swatched it on my hand, you guys, it looked like it was going to be a better match. But this is definitely like really light. But I'm going to put it on anyway just to show you guys. I mean, you can see it. It's like a, it's literally like a pinched look. But I didn't like the other shades. I'm kind of over those super like berry shades. I've been more into like a pinky um, type of blush. So I really do like these, the formula of these. Like 
it literally looks like skin like can you guys see that it's like very subtle um is it revolutionary this color no but the formula is great so when i apply this i like to apply it um like underneath my concealer or like before I blend out my concealer so that I can just all be one if that makes any sense because now that I'm blending out my concealer it's gonna kind of diffuse and merge together yeah I'm telling you I haven't really into the whole skin thing I think I'm getting it I think I'm getting it now if I could just get my um, bare skin to act right and be flawless you know it might be on to something you guys see how I'm literally blending out the blush as I blend out the concealer? I don't know if you can see the blush on camera. It's, again, very subtle. I'll probably pick up another shade. Uh, but I don't know. I just thought that one was going to be for me. But definitely, if you're into cream blush, pick up the blushes, you guys. They're so nice, so creamy. I feel like I was using the only other... Um, cream blush that I've ever really used is the Fenty and I really do like it but it is more of a balmy texture this is more of a creamy texture so now that that's blended out to perfection might I add um, I alternate back and forth between this tech this particular technique but um I've been doing it more because like I typically take pictures when I do my makeup and this just photographs really well. So I've been taking a pressed powder and I apply it first and then I do my loose powder. So today I'm going to use the one size powder in the shade medium five. This is a golden color and I'm just taking a brush and pushing that in. Okay. I learned this technique from uh, Makeup by Ariel. Um, he... So I had to focus. He applies a pressed powder and then a loose powder because that's just what he does. I don't know. It just looks a lot better. And also the loose powder doesn't like stick and cling to your skin. If you've ever used like a loose powder and you feel like you have that issue, lay down a powder first and then go over it with the baking powder. It definitely will make a difference. So do I love this powder? Mm not really i bought it and i also bought it in um my skin tone but we'll talk about that in a second but um this powder isn't bad it's just really full coverage you guys know this is patrick stars brand and honey he lives for a beat and it's great gorgeous love it but this is just absolutely too full coverage for my all over face i used it all over one day and i was like Oh my gosh. So now for my loose face powder, I'm using my Dion Cosmetics setting powder. Honestly, this has just been my go-to. Um, it does what I need it to do. I haven't really been switching up my, my um, loose powder and I haven't purchased a new one. So get this if you haven't. This is in the shade three and I love the shade because it's like a perfect mix between like this like yellowy but like skin tone, buttery type of shade. It's great. And I do still press the powder and I don't really bake. I'm pressing it in. Honestly, if you don't think that my base is top two, you're really hating. <laughs> you're really, really hating, okay? So um, for my face powder, I'm going to be using the Dior Backstage Powder in 6N as well. You guys, this is like a veil. Like, let me tell you guys, this is, do you guys see that? This is like super like light coverage it's a super light product but i really really like that i just want to like set everything in and like keep it light but locked in at the same time so i have been using this and it is so good of course i still i have my fenty literally right there i was like should i use it but nah this works really good and it looks so good with the um foundation as well so i've really been liking this Look at that. You see how it like makes it so velvety? But it's not even velvety. It just looks so skin-like and buttery and like, mm. So you guys are going to be so shocked. Your girl finally got a new bronzer, okay? This is by Mented Cosmetics in the shade Yacht Life. And this is how it looks. It like, let me get up close. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it literally has like little specks of glitter or like a sheen to it. It's not really a sheen, 
but it just has little specks of something. So it's truly a bronzer. It's not like, it's like matte, but it has little specks of something in there, all right? So I've been using this brush. Um, you guys know, if you watch Aaliyah's video, she'd be talking about her little witch broom brush. This is mine, and this actually works the best, I feel like, for bronzer. It gives you that like sculpted look, but still like really fanned out. So like this, you see that? The Say you don't see it, say it. You see it, you see me. <laughs> it just looks so good. I freaking love using this brush. And this is an old Sonia Kashuk brush from like a collection from like years ago. Like I'm talking like I've had this for years. But back to the bronzer, enough about the brush, you guys. The um, bronzer is literally like super smooth. And I just really, really like the formula of it. Like it's like, Pigmented you see that I was like one swipe and it just looks so freaking good. So All right, so the bronzer is done and I'm looking super bronze, but I really really like it and I'm going over that with my Face brush with no product and just kind of toning that down So I am going to use the same bronzer on my nose because I really do like this and I'm just using my Japanese brush and just sculpting my nose out and I like to take the bronzer up into my brow, especially since I haven't done my brow yet. When I do my brows, it's just gonna have this like look to it. So now I'm gonna take my um, Dion Cosmetics powder and kind of carve my cheeks out just to create the illusion of a snatched cheek. I prefer to do this than like really contouring because like I just never down packed contouring on myself. So we just gonna do a little reverse contour, all right? And now for blush, I told you guys I've been going blush crazy lately and girl, I got so many blushes. But I'm using NARS Orgasm X. This is not the regular orgasm. This one's a little bit deeper, a little bit more on the orangey side, but it's super bomb. So I have been using this because it has this nice finish to it. It's not super matte. I'm just kind of over the matte, super matte look. You guys know like last year this time, your girl was matte, 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 matte. Okay, but now I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, I just want it to look like my skin, even though they know it's not my skin, but my skin, but better, okay? Um, while I'm kind of reverse contouring, I am going to do my brows. And I got this brow pencil the other day and I really, really, really like it. This is the Too Faced brow pencil in um, dark brown. This is the Ultra Slim brow pencil. I did not realize that Too Faced didn't have brow products. Maybe they did and they just rebranded, but I just got this. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Y'all know I'm finna speed through this because I hate doing my brows and I feel like everybody's damn brows are different. So there ain't no point in following a brow tutorial. I don't know why I feel like that, but I just really feel like that's the truth. There's so many brow tutorials I used to follow and um, brows was like a huge thing and it just never worked, for, never worked for me. I had to do what worked for my brows and what I like. So I literally just kind of fill it in like this. You guys see how quick that was? I outline the bottom, I outline the top, and then I brush it through and conceal it. So just, you know, enjoy this and we gonna move on to the fun stuff. But this brow pencil is really nice though. It's very smooth but um, not in like a greasy way. I feel like a lot of times when um, brow pencils are on the smooth side, they, they tend to get really greasy, but this one's really, really nice. And I didn't use the same concealer that I use on my face under my brow today because I feel like that's just too, too bright. Um, I use my Milani uh, concealer. You see what I mean? The brows be like hella struggly, like, mm -hmm. So you guys, this is the brows. Um, I really, really do like this brow pencil. Um, brow pencils is one of those things like I will splurge on, but I don't feel like you have to. It's just like, whatever. If I come across a good brow product, I mean, yeah, a good brow product, I would definitely invest in it. But I also will buy a $5 brow pencil. So, you know, it just depends. For some reason, I hate to bore you guys, but like I kind of want to just keep it more on the natural side. Well, not natural, but like 
I kind of want to keep my eye look toned down because of this hair. I feel like whenever my hair is like this, it just looks better with like a softer glam, you know? So I'm just going to use my minted bronzer and put that all in my eyelid. That's literally what I've been doing anyways. I've really been liking this bronzer. It's like the perfect shade for my eye because Mocha Mommy used to be too dark, I feel like, and Coco Naughty just wasn't dark enough. This is literally right in the middle. This is like, the shade of this is Mocha Mommy and um, Coco. Mocha Mommy and Coco Naughty had a baby. That's what this is giving. So um, I've been doing a wing liner. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with wing liner because it's like, sometimes you're going like do and like do and like so just don't be agreeing. But um, I'm using the same liner I've used before. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. But you guys, I've been doing this half liner. So I don't know how I do it. I just kind of do it. So you're just going to have to watch, okay? So I literally will like extend it out. And I feel like when I do the half liner, it gives me more of like a curved cat eye. And then I'll go back in, but then I'll just stop halfway. So it just kind of like glides in and because this is so skinny, it works. So yeah. Basically what this half liner is doing is extending and elongating my eye shape what without closing it because whenever I do the liner all the way in it does tend to close my eyes I do like that look for certain looks but overall I've been liking this kind of situation okay I think I might need to get a new one of this because this one literally got like watery out of nowhere but it's like not empty I don't know what's going on with that but so this is the half liner look and the last few makeup tutorials or vlogs when I did my makeup you guys are like Tasha what does it look this is what I've been doing okay so because I've been like kind of all over the place, it depends on what lashes I use. Um, typically, I'll just take a pair of lashes and cut them in half so that this part of my eye is still open. Because if you put the lash all the way in, it just kind of defeats the purpose. But these lashes I kind of like. These are from High Maintenance and you guys know they're not available anymore, so I'm sorry. But this is what they look like. They're kind of like th this like, maybe it's this way. They're kind of like this like spiky kind of lash. But um, I applied them yesterday and they looked really good, but I did not cut them in half. And I'm not going to. I feel like these lashes, if I was to cut them in half, it would just look like I cut them in half versus like a gradual kind of effect. But um, these are just the lashes that I've been feeling, so I'm gonna wear these, but you know, it all depends. Or you can just do mascara. I feel like this look really does look good with mascara because it's not a full liner. When I used to do like full wing liner and try to do mascara, it looked hella stupid because I was given a Nikki wing with no lashes. Well, she be doing that. That's my girl though, I'm a bar, but she be doing that. So I did apply my lashes and they're not half lashes, but I really like these so I just don't really care for the liner to be all the way in because it just closes my eyes you guys see the difference how like you can like really see the lash it just it's just a me thing I don't know so um I need to spray my face I don't have any new what is I do I can use this I've been liking this I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta Dewy skin mist just not spraying up my face at all love the finish that this gives me it's it like super like milky like dewy plump skin and then I go over with any other setting spray because I feel like that one's not really a setting spray it just has a nice finish and I'll just go over with my Charlotte Tilbury just kind of let that absorb and I did apply a bottom mascara which technically you should do before but I ain't new to this I'm true to this okay so um for my lips I'm just gonna line it with this brown no I'm not I'm lying Oh, yes, I am. So I'm going to line it with this brown liner. This is Juvia's Place Cola. Um, it doesn't matter what lip liner. I'm not even going to do a lot. I just want a little bit of definition on my lip. Just a little tiny bit. Like the tiniest amount. And then I'm going in with my Dior Lip Gloss in the shade Beige. This is the plumping one. I love this lip gloss, you guys. I'm about to get every other color or the colors that I like. This one is so nice. Only thing is you kind of have to like dip in there a few times to get like the look that you want. So after 50 layers of that, this is the finished look. And I don't do highlighter, but I will add a little bit on my nose. And um, I am gonna add a little bit of highlighter on my nose. This is a ColourPop 
wisp i literally use any highlighter you guys i don't even care because i don't care for highlighter that much i just like to add it on my nose, nose, nose. so you guys this is a completed face i'm gonna get up close so you guys know it's a real okay raw uncut unfiltered this is all me okay so i'm obsessed with my current like face routine and the new products that i picked up i just think they're just a match made in heaven um they've been working great for me so let me know if you guys have tried any of these products if i should pick up anything new and give it a try comment down below and thanks so much again for watching you guys i will see you guys in my next video bye